Hello and welcome to Point of View. The race to Lunar South Pole is heating up. After India's successful landing on Lunar South Pole, China has upped the ante by declaring it plans to launch the Chang'e 6 lunar probe to collect samples in the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon in 2024, the China National Space Administration said on September 29. China will launch its Chang'e 6 lunar sample return mission next year in an attempt at a first-ever collection of lunar samples from the far side of the moon. Chang'e 6 will launch following the deployment of a new lunar relay satellite in the first half of the year to support the mission, CNSA said. The roughly 8,200 kg, four-part spacecraft will launch on a Long March 5th rocket from the coastal Wenchang spaceport. It will set out on a near two-month odyssey to deliver scientifically valuable lunar samples to Earth. The mission will use a service module for maneuvers. A lander will target a landing in the southern portion of Apollo Crater within the South Pole Aitken Basin, a gigantic ancient impact basin which may provide access to material ejected from the moon's depths. The lander will attempt to collect 2,000 grams of material, both scooped from the surface and below the surface collected by a drill. An ascent vehicle will send a canister of collected samples back into lunar orbit for rendezvous and docking with the service module. The service module will then return to Earth, releasing a reentry module designed to protect the samples during a high-speed atmospheric reentry. If successful, the mission would allow scientists to potentially analyze material excavated from the lunar mantle. This could offer insights into both the composition of this otherwise inaccessible part of the Moon, and even evolution of the Moon and how it differentiated into layers. The mission could also unlock whole new understandings of lunar composition, volcanism, volatiles, and the history of the solar system. CNSA made the announcement on Mid-Autumn Festival, a traditional festival coinciding with the Harvest Moon, close to the autumnal equinox. Earlier presentations suggest a launch in May 2024. However CNSA did not confirm this in the new statement. Details released by China's Deep Space Exploration Laboratory earlier this year revealed that the mission will take 53 days. Chang'e 5, the country's first lunar sample return, took 22 days from launch to the delivery of samples to Earth, indicating the new mission will be far more complex and advanced. Chang'e 6 is a repurposed backup to Chang'e 5. That mission launched in 2020 and collected 1,731 grams of material from Oceanus Procellarum on the Moon's near side. Part of the greater complexity comes from the requirement for the Qiao 2 also known as Magpie Bridge 2 relay satellite. The satellite will act as a communications relay between teams on the ground and lunar far side. A relay of this kind is necessary as the far side of the Moon never faces Earth due to tidal locking whereby the Earth's gravity has slowed the rotation of the Moon to nearly match the time it takes for it to orbit our planet. This makes direct communication with the Moon's far side impossible. The first Qiao satellite supported the 2019 Chang'e 4 mission. That mission marked an international first soft landing on the lunar far side. Qiao 2 will enter a distant retrograde orbit or an inclined highly elliptical frozen orbit to support Chang'e 6 rather than the more positionally stable halo orbit around Earth-Moon Lagrange.2 used by Qiao-1. The spacecraft will enable communications between the Earth and the probe, which will land on the side of the Moon that permanently faces away from our planet. The past 10 lunar sampling missions in human history have been on the near side of the Moon. The far side is relatively older and is home to the Aitken Basin, one of the three major lunar landforms with valuable research potential. The CNSA said the aim of the mission is to discover and collect lunar samples from different regions and ages to learn more about the Moon. DSEL published an updated drive map for U22 on its Weibo social media account on September 29 to mark the mid-autumn festival. The 140kg solar-powered vehicle has been roving in von Karman crater for four years and eight months. Chang'e 6 will also carry international payloads. They include a French-made instrument to detect the radioactive gas radon, a negative ion detector from the European Space Agency, an Italian laser corner reflector to calibrate radar systems, and Pakistan's CubeSat, a square-shaped miniature satellite. China is speeding up the International Lunar Research Station project and hopes to be joined by more international partners, the CNSA said. As for moon rocks, the Chang'e 6 will seek to retrieve 1 kg to 2 kg of samples. Samples collected by Chang'e 6 will initially be available to Chinese scientists and institutions before being offered to research partners internationally. 
CNSA made the Chang'e 5 material open to international scientists last month, nearly three years after the return of the spacecraft. The service module for Chang'e 5 was, after releasing its Rheem Tree capsule, sent on extended missions. It first visited Sun-Earth L1 before testing out a distant retrograde orbit. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft similarly used a trajectory change after releasing its asteroid samples to set course for asteroid Apophis. The Chang'e 6 service module could also be sent out for bonus adventures. The Chang'e 5 and 6 missions can also be seen as miniature test missions for getting astronauts onto the moon and safely back to Earth. China has recently stated it intends to put a pair of astronauts on the moon before 2030. Chang'e 6 is also nominally part of the China-led International Lunar Research Station, or ILRS program. Following the Chang'e 6 mission, the Chang'e 7 robotic probe will land in the Moon's South Pole region. Its tasks will include looking for traces of ice, investigating the lunar environment and weather in the region, and surveying landforms. The Chang'e 8, the finale of the Chang'e missions, is expected to prospect for resources near the lunar South Pole and establish a research station. Let's see how China's upcoming mission inform our understanding of the Moon's environment and if it can host permanent human presence on Earth's only natural satellite. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.